All right, man, we back. Goodfellow Sports TV. Um, just learned a report. I know a uh, Lion Killer, LC, check his channel out. He sent me the uh, he sent me the story earlier, and um, I seen it again after Jamal Adams criticized Woody Johnson, the owners of the Jets. He also owns, or he's the heir of Johnson and Johnson uh, products. All right. Um, he basically, you know, CNN broke a story that he said some uh, some instant, racist and sensitive comments about women and about um, black people. He was doing a black, he's supposed to do a black history, like, speech, whatever, and he's, or, or some type of speech. And he says there's going to be a lot of black people there. He He's questioned the use of or the need for Black History Month. All right. So, you know. He's questioning that need for Black History Month. And, um, you know, he said some other things about women and stuff of that nature. So, you know, people basically is questioning him and CNN is trying to expose him. And he's a UK ambassador who was dubbed by Trump to do, to, to do that. And, you know, basically they trying to paint him as racist, but they came out and supported him as being the UK ambassador, even though... You know, most of the people that that he that kick it with him that knows he's a stone cold racist, you know, they they still buy him. So you don't hear a bunch. You ain't gonna hear a bunch of white people say cancel Woody Johnson. Jamal Adams said he need to be held accountable. That's square business. You know, I can I can agree with that. But accountable to what? Who's gonna hold him accountable? You know, we we talked about Nick Cannon, right? And how you know people canceled Nick Cannon for his anti-Semitic uh, uh, semantic remarks, excuse me. And then black people, you know, some black people canceled him for that. And then they turn around, he apologized. They canceled him for apologizing. You don't hear one white person that canceled Jerry Jones. Not one Dallas Cowboy fan that say, you know what, I can't support what Jerry Jones doing no more. Black, white, Hispanic, whoever it may be. You don't hear one pe person say nothing about Stephen Ross. You know, he tried to play both sides, trying to be pro-Trump and pro-black and all that other stuff. He still got his job. You know, when you talk about other, you know, feminist, you know, situations that happen, you know, Jerry Richardson got rewarded by selling his team for, a, for over a billion dollars. They didn't cancel Jerry Richardson. Donald Trump, Donald Sterling, excuse me, after making racist remarks, they didn't cancel him. He got, re he got rewarded, bro. I think that, see, Barmer bought... The Clippers for a record number for a record purchase. The Clippers ain't even worth like half of what he what he bought for him. You know, but he didn't get canceled. So at the end of the day, man, black people stay canceling the wrong people. I don't have no issue with what Woody Johnson said. You know, he's just showing his true colors at this point. You know, we already knew. So why do I got issues with when I knew the majority, probably 31 out of 32 owners, are probably racist? Or come from racist family. Why do I have an issue? It's not going to stop everybody from watching football. And then you got the NBA guys that say, why do we watch football? Why do we watch football? It's racist. Y'all think Donald Sterling was an isolated incident? Y'all still watching the NBA and Mark Cuban, he trying to act like he pro-black and pro-pro, pro, you know, against the anthem and all that. But he the same person that told somebody mama that he was a thug, Kenyon Martin. So before people come out here with this, 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 this fake outrage for Woody Johnson, I don't even care, bro. I don't care no more. We talked about this yesterday in the boxing live stream. I simply don't fucking care. Because y'all will cancel somebody like Nick Cannon, all right? Cancel him. He did so much for the black community, all right? But ain't nobody, everybody going to act like they fake outraged over Woody Johnson. But if y'all really got that outrage together and say, you know what? We ain't watching the NFL or we ain't going to be Jets fans or whatever the situation, however they handle that, however it goes. I want to see everybody backlash on Woody Johnson and write Goodell a letter and email the NFL and email the Jets and all that. I want to see people do that and force Woody Johnson out. Because technically, they didn't force Jerry Richardson out. Technically, they didn't force Donald Sterling out of his team. They didn't. So, like I said before, ain't nothing going to come to this. This dude is the heir to Johnson & Johnson, bro. Let that, let that sit on your dome, man. He's the heir to Johnson & Johnson. 
I think he might even own Starbucks too. Could be wrong about that. Let's see how all the the, all the black outrage is the same they had is for Nick Cannon. Or when they canceling like Dojo Cat, when they canceling who uh, uh Trina or whatever then let's see if that energy is the same for Woody Johnson. And I guarantee you it's not gonna be the same. You know what I'm saying? People still you know, people still support these teams, support these sports, they can care less what the honor believe. The first thing they come out and do, they co-sign. They say, he's still the UK ambassador. We still gonna support him. That's the first thing white people did. Not just, you know, white Americans, the white Europeans, they supported Woody Johnson. Here we are, split, before even Nick Cannon apologized. Here we are, split on if Nick Cannon, you know, what Nick Cannon said. We can't even galvanize and we can't even co-sign. You got Waka Flocka, Rick Ross, all these dudes saying, not Rick Ross, Waka Flocka, um, uh, not Rick Ross, Master P, oh, he shouldn't apologize. Keep that shit personal. We can never be united. Look how they just co-sign Woody Johnson. So, we still support him. This dude is the U.S., U.K. ambassador. It ain't white people saying, oh, no, he need to be fired. This No, it's, it's solid. Solid as a rock. Ain't no back and forth, this, that, and the third. They support him 100% 10 tones down. But black people, we got us arguing over what Nick said instead of, you know, pushing the message and saying that it was true. So, I mean, it is what it is. Let me know what y'all think about it. Like I said, man, I don't have no issue with it. I don't. He letting you know exactly what he is and what he about. And his people still support him. He not going to be forced to sell the jet. So, who really cares, man? Hit that subscribe button, bell icon button, share the video. Check out our current news playlist, NFL playlist, hopefully for no more videos like this. Appreciate the love, support. Share the video. It's the best donation you can make to the channel. Cash app, PayPal, in the description. Y'all know what the business is. One time for one time, we're gone.